No nine recap. Let's get right into it. Aver versus Lux. Lux come out. He had the Versace robe on, but he, you know, he's uncomfortable anywhere. Lux goes first. Lux have a, has a, you know, a solid, solid uh, first round. I thought it was cool. It was a time limit argument at the end, where, you know, it wasn't really verb. It was they just called time on him. They were strict all the time, and then they let him finish. But it took the steam out of his ending already, and he ended with "I let you eat after I get off my bricks." I think it would have hit better if they would have, you know, let him go go straight through. Um, Verb started cooking slow at the beginning. At the end, his round gets better. This is, this is a solid first round for both. It's not spectacular. Round two, I thought was a, a real good round. I think uh, Lux got comfortable. Um, he started dancing all over the stage on, on Verb, and I thought it was a real dope round. Um, a Verb had a good a good second round too. Um, but I, I still think both we could debate the first round because it was like okay both of the rounds. The second rounds are both really good. But I edge it deluxe. And the third round to me, I from both of them wasn't really that good to me, personally. Um, it depends on who you who you favor more. And if it feels like the crowd like kinda turned on Lux because Lux was like, you know, the fans got you gassed like you beat Mook when you ain't beat Mook. He said the verb got Mook. He said to do what? Like you can't he didn't get he said he was in a building in his opinion. He didn't think that uh, Verb beat Mook. Um, so, I don't know. The third was okay from both. Uh, Verb shit was all right. Lux had dry spots at the end of his third. Verb shit was cool. It heated up towards the end. I would give Verb probably the third. Um, second round, I would go to Lux. First round is, is kind of debatable. Um, I'm edging it Lux 2-1. Uh, I know a lot of people out there got Verb 3-0. I just advise y'all not to be uh controlled by what you hear as far as the fans and don't let it sway your opinion. I think it was some real good rapping from both. Um as far as being direct, I don't think Verb is real, real direct going at Lux like that. I feel like he was doing his best to out pin Lux and he was saying some dope shit, but I thought that Lux was a little more a little more um direct and intricate going at him. But Verb did have some dope shit. He said, I'm rapping to your soul. Hey, how you get up there? Like, the whole thing, his performance was, was real dope. I thought that was good. I thought it, I thought it was solid. I thought the, I think this is like the boxing where they're waiting too long to get these legacy matches done. I don't think, I don't think Lux is uh, great hoodie Lux no more. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't think Verb is uh, guardian, make your guardian angel duck Verb no more. So... I just need to get these matches earlier so we can get these niggas at the, at the height. Oh, it was a cool battle. It was all right. Um, let's get into the rest of these battles, though, because uh, I don't know. I'm going to watch that battle again. I may come back and, and change it because you can go Verb or you can go Lux either way. I respect your opinion. Um, I'm just going Lux on this one. Um, Sue Sir versus Geechee Gotti. Woo-wee. Y'all gonna watch this battle a few times. I'm about to watch this shit again. It's a great battle. It's a classic. Shout out to URL. The whole event was good. My stream was working good. I was at work. I'm, you know, checking out what's going on. The stream not messing up until the Lux battle in the beginning. It it froze. I was fucking about to lose my fucking mind. But um, Sir versus Geechee Gotti. Yo, Geechee Gotti wasn't holding no fucking punches. Even though they both cribs, he was talking about Surf getting shot and, and all types of shit. Nigga said, you know, I don't care who. I said, I put top five in them. I let him judge who's top five. I put five in them, let him judge who's top five. He, Geechee Gotti wasn't holding no punches, but this was a rare surf. Surf had all three of them things. He had all three of them things. And surf was, and surf, what surf said was kind of true. I think, I gotta watch this battle again right now. I got surf getting it. Edging, you know, edging a couple of rounds. But it's, a, it's just an enjoyable battle, battle to watch, man. Surf show it's kind of levels to this shit. Like I think Geechee's real dope at what he do, and he's real comfortable on the stage now, opposed to when he was stumbling when he first came out. But this was a rare surf, man. It's like he had this laid out. He had this shit laid out for uh, Geechee Gotti. Surf had a lot of wave flips, a lot of dope shit, man. A lot of I don't just give a fuck shit. And Surf was coming back on some. Yeah, I'm doing all that shit, and I'm doing all that shit too. So. It was real dope, dope from the way, real dope from Geechee Gotti. I really appreciate this battle. This is a battle I know it's going to get a million views. Geechee Gotti, shout out to Surf, because he's going to get you that million views, and you did your fucking thing, boy. Um, 
Let's move on. K-Shine versus Rub Nitty was a dope battle. I got K-Shine get it 2-1 only because Nitty choked in the third. Was, was, but it was a real entertaining battle. Nitty was performing in balls. Shine stepped his balls up. It was cool. I got Shine getting that third. Um, it was good, man. I had uh, Shine getting the third. I believe I had, I had Shine getting the first and Nitty getting the second, I believe. But it was it was good. It was a good battle. They both was punching and shit. You know, Nitty was punching. Sean stepped his punches up, and he was doing this performance shit. It was real good. I really appreciated that battle. Um, Suge versus Pat Stay. I thought this was a real good Suge. He didn't choke. He didn't jersey. He did all three rounds. I think Suge was good. He would beat a lot of people with the performance. But Pat Stay is a legend. We got to respect Pat Stay for who he is. Pat Stay is a legend. Yes, nigga, a legend. If you ain't heard of him, check him out. I know he's been on KO King of the Dot for a while, but he's really dope, and he's dope at freestyle, and he's dope at the jokes, and he could take angles on you. Seems like he took more of the joke. No, he did. He did go hard at um at Suge as far as um who he picks and chooses to pocket check and shit like that. But Pat is just a, he just flows in and out. He's just a funny dude and. He's like the, the class room, the, the, the lunch room dude that's just snapping on everybody and he's just cruising and shit. But this is a really entertaining battle. It was a dope battle. Those battles right there, I all got my money worth with those battles. Um, Av versus Arsenal. Arsenal just, it was bad, man. Av was punching. He was in real form. Av was punching his fucking ass off. And the motherfucking, uh, fucking Arsenal was the punching bag out this motherfucker. You heard me? He was the punching bag. All three rounds. This is the 30. I'm not even going to talk about that shit. It's the 30. Um, the last battle I'm going to get into is John John, the motherfucking Don. Shout out Bullpen. Shout out to all the good people over there. Um, Jack, man. The fuck happened, Jack? Jack. Jack. Come here, Jack. Let me talk to you. Jack, come on down here. Let me talk to you. Yo, Jack. The first round was solid. I got J John John, the Don. Edge in the first. The second one, John John picked your ass apart. He had the black wolf chain. He flinged that bitch into the crowd. Tay Rock is the Tay Rock. We gonna do another blog about Tay Rock and the gas and, and the best hype man in the game. I need friends like Tay Rock. If I had a friend like Tay Rock, I could do anything in the motherfucking world. Um, yeah, man. And then so then the third round, Jack Boy turns the lights out, turns it into a band type of situation, takes his shirt off. And then the crowd, the crowd's not fucking with him. The crowd's heckling him. So he jumps off the stage, jumps into the crowd. All the goonies jump off the stage. And now Jack wants to fight. In the middle of the third. I mean, the beginning of the third. He didn't really even get into his third. So he throws everything he worked for to get all the way up to John John to Don to jump off the stage and entertain a fan. When you notice this battle rap, this is the pettiest fans in fucking the world, boy. And you play the villain card, so you gotta have thicker skin than that, big bro. I don't know what's going on with that shit. That shit was garbage. So you got 30, and it's nasty, and I doubt we might, you might be banned, literally, my nigga. Like, I don't know what's going on with that. But that was it. URL, shout out to URL, shout out to Smack Beasley, Chico, all the good people that over there. Well, all the battles was, was pretty much good, except for that Arsenal Ave. I would skip past that. That's, I, you might never even see that battle. I don't know. And that Jack. They're gonna show the Jack battle, because Jack. Talk so much shit. And back to the Lux Verb. I'm going to watch it a few more times. I might come back. I ain't really give y'all the bars because I want y'all to be able to see it. I don't like when people give me the bars and shit. But, you know, Lux was cool. for Like I said, Lux was cool, solid the first round. a -Verb was solid. He started cooking late. So you could give it to either or because Lux was kind of solid all the way through. And Lux, and a -Verb took a while to get to his point. Second round, I thought Lux was really good and a -Verb was really good. Third round, I didn't really like from either one of them. So, y'all check it out. Y'all let me know what's up. And, and y'all, you know, let me know your opinion. I want to know how you feel. You feel Verb 1 right down underneath. This is why Verb 1 and Lux couldn't fuck with him. If you feel Lux 1, be like, yo, this is why Lux 1 and I feel Verb wasn't going direct at him. Let me know.